Okay. Uh, thank you for liking and subscribing. Thank you for clicking on this video. Um, the stream is still going on, and um, it's just right now we're going to recap just the morning section. But I have to tell you, this case is over. The trial, it's done. And in all, and look, I took all these notes again, just like I do every morning, every, every uh, excuse me, every stream. I took all these notes, all of them. Took all these notes, and you want to know how Johnny Depp won the case? His attorney told the agent Jack Wiggum. He says after the op-ed. How difficult was it for you to get Johnny Depp a movie? And the agent responds, after the op-ed, it was impossible to get Johnny Depp a studio film. Boom, pack it up, trial's over, Amber Heard loses. Right there. Because if you remember last week, what, whatever that dumbass's name, Rotten Bourne or Robin Bourne or whatever the dumbass's name is, that's what he literally said. And if it wasn't last week, it was a week before. He literally said to Johnny Depp, the, the trial that we are in is not about proving whether Amber Heard abused you. It's about proving the op-ed affected Johnny Depp's ability to get a movie. And that's it. We're done here, ladies and gentlemen. That's it. And I'll say it again for the other people. That's it. Okay? Because that is what the op-ed was about. And that right there wins the case for Johnny Depp. So... I think there's absolutely no, I'm not saying there's no point in talking about all this stuff. Because look, I mean, damn, it was the whole morning. But just to start the recap, we're going to go uh, trial day 12, recap. We're just going to zip right through because there really isn't a lot. You know, they were just, you know what, what really they're doing is they're really talking about Amber Heard's violence against Johnny Depp. They're talking about, um, they're just trying to show how she was very physical and he wasn't. I mean, Johnny Depp was verbal. And they talk about that and, and the cross-examination. They try to talk about that too. Um, Travis McGivern, security, uh, he stated that the anger always came and name-calling from uh, Amber Heard directed to Johnny Depp. She would tell him, you're a deadbeat dad, you're a washed-up actor, you're a fucking cunt. <laughs> How can you say you love someone, you know, and, and you're talking to them like that. Especially someone that's like your free ride. This guy is her free ride. Like that's what Johnny Depp was. He was her meal ticket. So she's treating him like shit. Like <laughs> it's so sad. So then the the, the uh, security guy, he says, the attorney asks him, well, how did Amber Heard treat you? And he says, she demeaned my career choice. She called me a yes man. And she said, how would you feel if someone was involved in your relationship? W what are you talking about, Amber? What do you mean? Involved in your relationship? He's security. He's supposed to be involved because you're beating up Johnny Depp. That's the point. <laughs> That's the point. Why do you think he's involved? Because he's security. He's supposed to keep his client secure. Okay, Amber Heard. So when you think you can tell the security guy, oh, well, when some, just think about how you would feel if someone was involved in your relationship. Well, maybe if the relationship wasn't fucking violent. How about that, you stupid? Like, how about that, honestly? What do you think about that, lady? So then um, they did cross examination. That dumbass rotten born, Robin. I, I don't know. I don't know if it's rotten, like a rotten apple, or I don't know if it's Robin, like Batman and Robin. Either way, he's a piece of shit. Um, incident. And they start talking about the incident after, um, after Australia. They start talking about more verbal abuse. This was not the cross. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. We go back to the, we go back to Johnny Depp's lawyer. Now they start talking about this. Get this. They start talking about the situation where they had the uh, the phones thrown over over the balcony remember we talked about that last week and this security guard states quote i saw her throw a red bull can at him and it struck him in the back and right after that i went and i stood in front of johnny depp in between him and amber heard she threw a fucking Red Bull can at him. And I'm pretty sure it was a full one because you don't just toss a, a, a what is that, an empty Red Bull can. I mean, you're, you're going to toss an empty Red Bull can. It's not going to get anywhere. So, you know, and then he goes on to say that Johnny Depp was angry and agitated. And this right here, I want to get into this for like a minute. Johnny Depp was also angry and agitated. Why is it that there are so many people right now that they believe 
because Johnny Depp was also angry and he also defended himself. Why is that abuse? What What is going on in your diluted mind that you think a man defending himself from a violent woman, you think that is abuse? What What is going on in your diluted head, you sick person? Because there's been a lot of people that have said that, and they've all said the same thing. Well, Johnny was toxic too. Johnny did this. Johnny did that. Okay, first of all, he never abused her. He was defending himself. Those are not the same things. Okay, and second of all, if, and there's been plenty of times, let me see if, let me see if this guy said it. There's been plenty of times that everybody testifying has said, she starts the arguments, she escalates the arguments, and he just wants to get away. What the hell are you people talking about? Are you trying to be on her side so hard just because she's a woman that you're trying to tell me that Johnny Depp should have stood there and taken her shit? Yes, Andrew, that's exactly what they're saying. Like, really? That's what you people, that's what these people think? And there's a lot of them, okay? There are a lot of people commenting that. They're saying that Johnny Depp hit, uh, he hit cupboards and he was throwing plates and he was screaming and angry. Of course you would be screaming. Of course you would be angry if somebody's always in your face, always starting arguments, always being an asshole to you. Come on. Like, I can't believe this notion that a man is supposed to just stand there and let a woman... And that, that's what he's supposed to do? Really? Really? He's, he's not supposed to do this. He's not supposed to try to get him. He's not supposed to do anything. He's not supposed to respond when she calls him a washed up actor, a deadbeat dad, and a piece of shit. And then she also, and I remember in the other old video, she called him a stingy old piece of shit. He's not supposed to respond to that? Is that what you people are saying? That's what you're trying to say to me. You do realize that when you come out and comment like that, and you say that, oh, Johnny Depp is toxic too, you realize that that puts you in the situation where you're on the side of an abuser. Because let's get one thing very clear. We still have not seen any evidence, any, any, not a single shred of evidence that Amber Heard was ever, ever, ever abused. Ever. And when I say abused, I mean abused the way that Johnny Depp was abused. Because you can see that right there. You see the finger, all right? You see, well, I mean, I'm probably going to have to uh, censor it for for what do you call it, for uh, TikTok, but I don't know about YouTube, but you see the finger. That's, I mean, look at his face multiple times, multiple times. And I've said that before. If a woman went out with any of that stuff in public once, once. So I still, I still challenge everybody, everybody that's been coming to my comments and trying to talk shit, I still challenge you, send me the evidence of Amber Heard's abuse, and I'll gladly shut the fuck up, and I'll gladly delete all my videos. Because there isn't any. And I've already dropped her ass about three times now with evidence. Okay? And that video got taken down off of TikTok because why? The Amber Heard fans went and reported it. Okay? It was a community guidelines. It was harassment and hate speech. Really? Really? A video showing how Amber Heard lied about her abuse around, around her eye that was actually fillers and Botox? That's hate speech? Really? And that's fine, man. That's fine. But, but the greatest part about this is that a case that is so polarizing like this, it shows you exactly who these people are. And, and it could be someone that you know at work. It could be someone that you're friends with. And then all of a sudden, this person will be like, yeah, Amber Heard totally should have done what she done. Because, I mean, did you, like, hear the way he was screaming at her and how he, like, did all this and he was toxic? And did you read those text messages? And you're you're sitting there and you're hearing them and you're like, really? Because you, we've all heard the audio recordings. We've all heard Amber Heard admit to physical violence. And now, after today's recap, we literally have the case closed Okay, Johnny Depp's agent said it. It was practically impossible to get Johnny Depp a movie after the op-ed was published. That's it. Case closed, trial over. Okay, that's it. 
So let's just keep on going. We're already hitting 10 minutes, so let's just keep on going. Um, they talk about Penthouse 5. They talk about how they're getting angry. Called to Penthouse 3, another verbal argument. Um, she was behaving drunk. Uh, they talk about their drug use. They talk about how many times have you seen Johnny Depp use weed? Uh, too many times to count. How many, how many times have you seen Johnny Depp use coke? Twice. How was he on weed? Um, he was mellow, super mellow and cool. And how was he on coke? Uh, he seemed leveled off. And they asked him, how many times have you seen Johnny Depp take alcohol? Um, too many times to count. How was he on alcohol? Too, uh, he was mellow and super chill. So essentially, they were trying to ask him, does he get violent when he gets drunk? So no, he doesn't. So then, yeah, now we're going into the asshole Rotten Born, which he really didn't even do anything. His Look at how short. That's it. Those are all of Rotten Born's notes. That's it compared to all of this for the, the beginning. All of that is, is Johnny Depp's lawyer, okay? And then this little section, this little tiny section right there is Rotten Born. He didn't even do anything. He didn't even do it. And you want me to tell you what? I bet you they're paying six figures for those idiots. I bet you Amber Heard is paying over a million dollars for that shit. So then the, the asshole Rotten Born comes in. Uh, do you have any idea what was going on between them and Penthouse 3? Guy said, I do not. And then he starts talking about a Boston flight. Were you on the Boston flight? No. Were you at Hicksville Trailer Palace? No. Were you in the Bahamas in 2014? No. Were you in the Bahama Bahamas in 2015? No. Were you in Tokyo in, 2015? in 2015? No. And that's it. And then he just he's like, oh, yeah, we're done. We're done. What do you mean you're done? You didn't even do anything, you stupid fuck. Like, what is wrong with you? So then they, this, then we get to the guy, Jack Wiggum, the agent for Johnny Depp. And he starts talking about Johnny Depp's money. You need to hear how much money Johnny Depp was getting paid. Johnny Depp was getting fucking baller money, fool. He, was get, he got three and a half million for an indie movie. Three and a half million is still a lot for an indie movie for The Professor. And then he got eight million for the studio movie City of Lies. He got 10 million for Murder on the Orient Express, which is a studio movie. Um, 2017 was a good year for him. He got, they didn't, they didn't say how much for waiting for barbarians, a 2018 indie, but we're going to get to Minimata or something like that. So then they start taking, talking about how many uh, movies he did. They, and then get this, the pirates of the Caribbean six, he was supposed to get 22 milli, 22 big mills. Holy wow. $22 million for that. And then Look, here's all I'm going to say about Pirates of the Caribbean and Aquaman 2. I can't come on this show and I can't come here and say, don't go watch Aquaman 2. I can't say that. I can't come out here and say, don't go watch Pirates of the Caribbean 6. I can't do that. I can't tell you to go and tell other people not to go watch those movies. I can't do that. So I won't do that. I won't tell you not to go watch Aquaman 2 and not to go watch uh, Pirate 6. I, I can't. I'm not allowed to do that, so I won't do that. Moving on. So then they start talking about the op-ed in the in Washington Post. Um, not really anything serious. They just, they're just going, talking more about the op-ed. And it became, oh, and then they started talking about Disney and the emails from Disney. And you could see it in Amber Heard's attorneys every single time they were about to drown her ass. Her attorneys objected, and they always got the objection. No, well, they missed some object objections. Like the the I'm gonna I'm not gonna lie. At the beginning of this trial, I was judgy, and I said, "Oh, look at the judge. She has that short hair. You know, she kind of looks whatever, and she's probably gonna be on the woman's side." And no, no, I, I will admit that that I was wrong. And this judge has been very, very unbiased. She's been good, very, very good judge. I will admit that. Th I will admit that I was wrong. Yes. Very good job by this judge. So then <clears throat> the ending, and it just kicks ass, and it's right there. And I'll say it again, the attorney. How difficult was it for Johnny Depp to get a movie after the op-ed was released? And the agent said, quote, after the op-ed, it was impossible to get Johnny Depp a studio movie. Boom. Case closed, trial done, the jury knows, it's over. Uh, Amber Heard, you're done, cooked, 
put a fork in her. She's done. All right. Thank you for liking and subscribing. Thank you for staying with me on this morning recap. We still got some more going. I am going to take some more notes, but I do have to leave the studio. So I probably will be doing more um, probably tomorrow morning, if not. But there's really not anything going on. Like, it's really more building. Like, they're trying to build stuff and, and stuff like that. But this was it. That was it right there. And I'll say it again. After the op-ed was released, it was impossible to get Johnny Depp a studio film. Boom. Case closed trial over. Goodbye. <laughs> Thank you for liking and subscribing. Thank you for staying with me on this one. We will catch you next time.